right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Nightly Sports Call. Okay, thanks very much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a Monday night edition of the Sports Call. Right here on Pittsburgh CW, it's the Bordis and Bordis Hotline, which you can call at 412-575-2600. Bob Pompiani joined tonight by Ron Cook of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette and the Cook and Pony Show on 93.7 The Fan. Second half of the season is underway for the Steelers. Back to work today, Ron. They're 6-2 and two after a pretty good first half tie for the best FC with the Patriots, and they got five of the next eight at home, so it sets up pretty well against some backup quarterbacks. Bob, I can't start by talking about the state. Wish you well here. You're a grandfather as of today. That's right. Congratulations, your Brent, daughter Chelsea. Chelsea and Brandon ha a baby. has a baby girl. Ellie Grace. Now, a your young wife man. Lisa isn't even close to being old enough no. to have a grandchild. You certainly qualify as old. Yeah, this right. is such an exciting day. Uh, it uh, is. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Well, the first of probably going to be 15 or 20 uh, grandchildren. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. Wait a minute. Calm down. A Everybody's bit. okay. All I know right? is that everybody's fine. What did yep. they name the baby? Ellie Grace. Good. A really classy name. Congratulations, so Rob. She's a really beautiful uh, young girl. And uh, I know my mom, my wife likes to be referred to as Glamma. That's how I'm calling her, Glam. Glam. Anyway, answer well, the I question. Know, I know your mother. <laughs> your mother wishes she was here. Oh to see yeah. This. Well, she's looking She'd down. She'd be very proud of it. Thank you for, for saying sure. that. Uh, hey, they're in a great spot. You can't ask for better. Six and two at the break. Uh, what a day yesterday. Uh, Kansas City loses to Dallas. That was great. Baltimore loses. Cincinnati loses. The division is over from my point of view. They, uh, both Baltimore, Cincinnati, five losses. The Steelers only have two. And they have the tiebreaker. But this team's thinking of more than just the division. You want to get home field through the playoffs? I think they can go 14 and 2. I really do. 13 and 3, lose one somewhere. Uh, as long as you beat New England in December, I like your chances of being the number one overall seed. And I'll, t I'll take my chances of getting to the Super Bowl if that's the case. If you had one thing to worry about in the second half of the season, one thing you need to change on the Pittsburgh Steelers team, what would it be? Well, I still worry about the pass defense a little bit. Uh, I've heard people say Le'Veon Bell's carries. Uh, worry him. I think the offense is going to play much better in the second half. I think Ben's going to play better. Uh, obviously, injuries can derail everything, and they've really been lucky to this point. They've lost Marcus Gilbert for a while, Stephon Tuitt. Both are expected back for Indy this week. I like where they're at. I'm really not worried about them. I, I mean, this is going to be a tough game this week. Indianapolis, a 10-point underdog. We've seen the Steelers lose those kind of games. But I, I really don't see many teams that can beat them down the stretch. Boy. No, I think they'll be favored in just about every game. And, right. Uh, but they will have opportunities to be picked off. And maybe a team like the Cincinnati NFL. can do it. Baltimore comes But here. listen, if they can go and duplicate 6-2 and two at the worst to go 12-4, and four, that's good. But I think it's going to take 13-3 and three to be that number one seed. And that's would be their goal. I'm watching Green Bay tonight. They're getting spanked by Detroit. You know, no, it's about no having Brett a quarterback. Favre. It, they're they're going to be 0-3 without Favre. He's not going to play here next month or later this month. Uh, I like where they're sitting. I really yeah, do. I do, too. And we'll see what they can do to add on to it. A lot of home games, which is great, and they play much better at home. Speaking of home, the Penguins are back home after a 1-3-1 and Western Canada trip, one of their worst in uh, several years, all the way back to 2004, I think it was, or three. 2003. They only had three points, but uh, they played better as that uh, trip went on. Five-on-five five play didn't result in a lot of goals, but their scoring chances went up. You have Rick Tockett in Arizona in town tomorrow. And I know, uh, Ron, you uh, wrote something about Rick Tockett, uh, who's a really affable guy. But tonight they were in Washington, and they took the Caps to overtime before they lost on a John Carlson goal. How about them? They have tonight Capitals, tomorrow Pittsburgh, Thursday St. Louis. Yeah, but he saved his uh, best goaltender, Ranta. He didn't play tonight. He's going to play him tomorrow. You know, Rick wants to win this game tomorrow night. He wants to beat... Uh, Jim Rutherford, Sullivan, the Penguins. He's so close to that organization. I talked to him at length on Saturday. He said he hears all the time from uh, uh, Sullivan and Rutherford saying, hang in there. He's now 2-12-2. Two, they played 16 games. He's got six points. Goaltending was a major issue with Ranta out. They played really well. out 2 nothing, and then just couldn't score again. Uh, but uh, it's a young team. They're trying to build something here. Uh, it's going to take a while. I think Rick's a great coach. 
I can't wait to see him tomorrow night on the other side of the building. Yeah, he's always one of those guys who uh, everyone loves him. He's just a gregarious person, and someone will lay it all out for his team, and he'll do that in Arizona. Remember when he fought in 92 with, with a broken, broken jaw? jaw Multiple yeah. times. I go, he said, Scotty Bowman said to me, what are you doing? You're an idiot. He goes, I got to stand up for my guys. That's the way he is. That's the way he has always been. Nah, he didn't worry about self-preservation. He just put it on the line with a broken jaw. Could have risked some serious damage there. Did it anyway. We got to take a break. When we come back, we'll also talk about the Matt Duchesne trade. We have some Twitter reaction on that one, and he is now an Ottawa senator. We'll get into that in your calls. All you have to do is call us at 412-575-2600 right here live, Pittsburgh CW.